Hey Brio Builders, so we've reached a milestone with the channel just recently. My Brio Adventure now has 1,000 subscribers, and to celebrate, we're going to build a layout sent to us by one of you. We received an email from fan of the channel Sparkplug and their dad who were inspired after a recent track layout to build their own version and share it with us. We knew that we were approaching the 1000 subs milestone and were looking for ideas and thought what better way to celebrate than by recreating a subscriber's track. So here is the original layout that we were sent and what we're setting out to build for ourselves for the first time with you now. A couple of things off the top. We wanted to build this layout on our table which meant having to reduce the depth of the design somewhat to accommodate our space. Now normally when we film our layouts we edit this part out so you don't see this stage of the build where we try to figure out the layout and the roots but as this is a special occasion we thought we'd leave it in as a time lapse of the build. Whilst constructing the layout we noticed a track going under an ascending straight which would have caused issues for some of our trains so we rerouted this under the bridge. Likewise, the Brio switches that we have can't be elevated in the same way that was done in the original, so we've had to substitute in a T-junction in place of that. Beyond that, we adjusted the positions of a couple of switches to accommodate the table size and the engine shed placement, but these we felt were minor changes that didn't impact on the overall running and look of the layout. We left the track set up for the day so that our son could run some trains around the track when he got home. After filming the mighty red and big green action locomotives, we wanted to make a small change so that when trains enter this switch here, they end up in different parts of the layout. We thought we could simply switch this out to the switch next to it, however that proved easier said than done, but with some additional track pieces from the advanced track expansion pack, we managed to achieve it, albeit the next day after sleeping on it. This was a super fun layout to build and we would encourage anyone with the track in their inventory to try for themselves. We also want to say a big thank you to the 1000 of you who have already subscribed to the channel and to everyone watching our videos, leaving us comments and sending us messages. If you want to share your own track layouts with us you can do so through our email brioadventure at outlook.com. We would love to see your own creations and hope that we can continue to inspire. And who knows, maybe we will feature your track at our next milestone. 